And here we are on uh, December 15th of 2015. I am right next to the Woodman's Grocery Store. They've got a nice big open lot here. And uh, I am flying a uh, Phantom 3 Advanced, uh, which I just purchased recently. So I'm taking a few flying lessons here. A lot of nice big open areas. Uh, the audio that I'm adding to this video is I'm actually doing on uh, April 19th of 2018. Um, all the uh, Phantom 3 videos I did, I didn't uh, have audio attached to them. So I'm going to go back and attach audio to some of these videos here. And we can kind of see uh, this is the uh, Highway 53 bypass we're looking at. Uh, the highway down below going underneath the bridge there. And now we're get, kind of getting a look at uh, Lake Altoona. Uh, if you look right by the water tower in the center screen there. Now the Woodman's Grocery Store is a pretty neat grocery store. The thing is huge inside. It's kind of hard to uh, pick out what you want there. The selection is so huge inside there. And the prices are pretty good too. Uh, it looks like we got a little bit of snow. So hopefully if that keeps up we'll have a white Christmas. But without the sun out, it looks kind of dreary out there. Uh, this area right now, if you'd uh, go back and, and look, if you'd look at it today, you wouldn't recognize it. Uh, they've done uh, quite a bit, bit of developing in this area here. Uh, they have a real nice park down there now. And I believe there's a trail that's kind of going along the river. That seems to be the, the uh, thing in the last, oh, I would say maybe five, six years. Is they've really developed a a pretty extensive bike trail and walking trail in the area. And now that I've got the camera dropped down a little bit uh, below the horizon level there you can kind of see in more detail uh, some of the area here. And it uh, looks like I'm just kind of doing a lot of panning around, not too much flying. But you really have to kind of get used to the uh, the new drone. And, and uh, uh, one of the best ways to do it is to just see how it uh, hovers, you know, see if it's going to try to uh, move off to one side or the other. And uh, this thing is actually extremely stable. And we can see we got a few people in the parking lot down there. They also have their own gas station. And the gas station is uh, very competitive uh, for gas prices. They usually uh, set the gas prices uh, to just about the lowest in Eau Claire here. And 
and I realize these probably aren't the most exciting videos to watch, but uh, I got kind of got to cut my teeth here on uh, flying this thing, and uh, build up a little confidence, maybe. And so now we'll bring it down a little bit here. Oh, and I might actually uh, try to fly this thing around a little bit. And it's a pretty smooth flyer. There we had a little water collection area there for runoff. I notice that uh, with some of the new buildings now, they uh, they must be requiring them to have some kind of water retention from rain runoff. And I'm getting a little braver, flying a little faster. Let's hop over across the street. And we'll go up in the air a little bit. This is going to kind of assure that I am above treetop level. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want to fly next. I'm thinking these dirt piles here might be a pretty good target. And I don't know. I think that might be about as far as I want to go for now. So we'll turn it around. And when you start to see the props in the picture there, I'm flying ahead a little bit faster. It pitches the drone forward and the uh, props kind of sh start showing up in the uh, video. And now I'm going to bring this thing down and uh, Maybe try to land it here. And we got a nice smooth blacktop spot to land it on. So that is a, uh, oh, I'm going to catch it in the air here. That is the uh, Phantom 3 Advanced.